What is Hunt Showdown? Well, it's a combination of PvE and PvP game modes into one. And that's what actually got me interested in this game. That it's unique. It hasn't been done before, at least of what I can remember. So let's try to break down what this game is about and answer the question, why do I like it? Why do I think that people out there should give it a try, especially with friends? There are two game modes, Quick Play and Bounty Hunt. In Quick Play, you will be a random hunter with the pistol, shotgun or melee as a starting weapon. You will be spawned on a big map with 11 players, makes 12 in total, and your objective is to survive by closing 4 rifts. There will be many rifts on the map, but the objective for you is to close only 4. Then in the game you will become marked. Now, in the game it's described as a wellspring, but I have no idea what that is, so I'm gonna call it marked. When you become marked, all the players more or less can see you on the map. Maybe not on the map, but on a, on a screen. You need to survive until the timer runs out. On the left top corner there will be a timer. If you survive, or you kill all the players, happens to me uh, happened to me a few times your character will be available in a recruitment tab soul survivors now with the soul surviving hunter you can play him in the main game mode which is bounty hunt now a really big advantage is that in a quick play you can select the weapons that you want to play with for free because there are chances that you are going to find and modified already a weapon in a quick play. Now, you heard me right, modified. There is a progression system in this game. It's not huge, but it's very diverse and it's very big. Now, in a bounty hunt, you select your hunter via the roster tab, where you can also recruit hunters. They will have a random set of guns uh, maybe abilities, depending on your tier of a hunter, and some consumables. Now, you will have to pay each time, well, each time your hunter dies, you need to pay to buy a new one. The higher the level, well, your main level, the higher the price going to be for hunters, because they will be higher level as well. Now, in the bounty hunt, there's one objective. You have bounties, obviously. There are monsters. There are contracts. And on the light, right side of the screen, you can see that I have a random contract because that's the only option that you can play for now because the game just been released a few days ago. So that's okay. On the random contract picture, you can see there are three types of bounties. Assassin, Butcher, and a Spider. Now, they are very different and approaching their combat is different as well, but we'll get that a little bit later. Your objective is locate the bounty by finding three clues on the map, then killing it, then banishing, which will make you visible on the map to the enemy teams and they will try to kill you and take the bounty. Then you need to escape from the map. The map will have multiple exits where you can evacuate. Either that will be a cart with the horses or that will be a ship or some sort of a boat. I do not recommend to play this game on your own. Only if you have a friend or even two will be better because this game is about tactic, is about strategy. It's because of this game's sound effects that it has, you will be able to hear gunshots, footsteps, maybe some clinking noises from your clothes or something like this. This game will test your patience because you need to be very patient and this is the biggest mistake I have ever done in the video game. I was impatient, I tried to rush for the bounty, I tried to rush for the hunters. Don't. Let's talk about some positive and negative things that this game has. Yes, there are some negative things, but I think they will be fixed in the upcoming patches. First of all, I want to talk about optimization. Now, I'm running this game on the regular PlayStation 4 
and this game runs at 30 fps most of people don't like 30 fps they think it's unplayable nothing nothing is accepted below 60 and so on and so on this game runs perfectly on 30 fps i i've played a lot of well as i can see i'm rank 45 i've played about let's say like 20 30 maybe even more games with my friend and i have not experienced a single fps drop gunfights uh fight with the boss uh maybe some a lot of visual effects the poison the fire uh swarm of bees all at the same time the game is still 30 fps you do not feel like there are fps drops now the graphics this is the crytek engine and most of people know what it's capable of and it really shows that the graphics are really good though there are some issues that i'm gonna talk about in the negative now let's talk about the weapons. You will have a lot of choices in the weapons section. Most of the guns come with the different modifications. For example, let's take this first revolver, Nagant. It comes as a regular regular revolver. It comes with the stock. It comes with the stock with the scope, which is really good. And it comes with the suppressor. Now, I recommend always take a gun that you like or maybe you're familiar with level up to the point where if it has of course suppress it and play it because this game's sound is so good that you need to have a silenced weapon in order for other players not to spot you or maybe even some uh, zombies or NPCs so you can call them whatever you want basically against AI and against hunters the silencer works the best because they cannot kill you if they do not hear you. Now let's talk about some negative things that this game has. First of all and most important is the rendering issues. Now this game has a great engine, a Crytek engine, the graphics are good, but the rendering sy system or how it works it's very bad because sometimes you can come next to an enemy, most likely NPC, and it will just have a big square. Well it will be like the, the character is 144p. And I had the issue where there is uh, an enemy, it's called a swarm as I believe. It's basically a lady with, with the bees around and the weak, sh the weak spot on her is her head. Basically if you shoot her in the head, more or less she will die instantly. So the problem was that her figure was not rendered you know, fully and I, I did not see her head. So she triggered and she attacks me and nearby hunters kill me. So basically so sometimes it can affect the gameplay but it's just frustrating uh, to see uh, you know the game in this state. Now, now I understand that this is like a few days after the release and most likely it will be patched but I'm just pointing this, this, this thing out because this game has barely any you know negative aspects so I, I, I have to take something. So, the second one is the solo play. I talked about this in the beginning that playing by yourself, it's, it's, it's not really good. I did not really like it and I think there's nothing wrong with it. It's just my, you know, personal preference that I want to play with friends and I feel that this game is a co-op only game. And the last thing is, well, basically something that I do not uh, care about because it's only in a quick play, the loading time loading time as I'm pronouncing trying to pronounce since English is not my first language loading time in quick play oh lord it's huge people who play GTA 5 know what loading time is and what the issue is with it in that game now it has come to this game as well but thankfully only in the quick play because in a bounty hunt mode the the main game mode it loads perfectly it's fast it's like a few seconds and it's already you know matching you and less than 10 seconds you already load into a game and so on and so on now in quick play 
mostly mostly when i'm you know trying to maybe quick play i don't want to spend the money on a hunter i want to get some random gear some random guns and so on and so on i'll go to quick play even though i don't like solo but i would just want to get a unique hunter that i personally equip with the guns that i want usually the loading time gets from five to seven minutes you can go and take you can go in bathroom and you come back and more maybe it's gonna be finished so this is big issue for solo players though i believe there are not so many solo players maybe that's because there's a big loading time or it's so big maybe because so many people want to try solo i don't know which one is the right one you pick so at the end of the day what this game is about well this game is unique for me because i have not seen a game previously that has combination of pve and pvp game modes this is very good because in today's world there are like call of duties battle royales and so on and so on this is a very slow paced game that requires a lot of patience a lot of attention very good headphones and very good eyes unsurprisingly so i recommend this game to people who are tired of you know call of duties and other games like this and they want to try something new something different trust me try this one you will not be disappointed just play with your friends Try to be patient, not like me, run and gun on everything and everyone and you will be dead in a few seconds. No, your friends, co-op only, patience, communications. Those are the keys to this game. I wish you a good day, this was very hard to video for me to do, but I wanted to do, I have never done a review before, I don't think I maybe even ever will again because the hunt is the game that really turned the table around for me because i thought that it was a very slow and boring game but it, it turns out it's very intense and very oh you can say it's a jaw-dropping game because that that's how much it surprised me and how good it is so well leave something under this video a like this like a comment uh, maybe a middle finger for me. Well, who knows. And I wish you a good day and a good week. Goodbye. I don't know, butcher this time. Okay. Nope. Assassin is fine. Mm -hmm. Let's go for assassin. I have a challenge for him as well. 
Well, then we'll have to go all the way north, north while on the rest of the No worries. We can still pick up. What? Wow. Hunters! Okay. Cut one. I think the other one was shooting from somewhere there, but I'm not sure. Yep. Yeah, I see him. Be careful. I am. Hit him once. Grenade. I think he moved. Yep, he's about to arrive. Hold it. Through the wall. Mm -hmm. I remember about you, don't worry. I think there's two of them. Got him. One else on me. Get out of here. Loot him and you take hold. How many of these bitches? I don't see anyone. In front of me. Don't move. 
triggered my mic. Run! Run! Getting up. I missed. Oh, you're not here. Dropped mm -hmm. on the roof. Some both of them? I don't know. I dropped one definitely. Nope. I guess not. Yep. Uh. Idiot, why he's running with the flashlight on? Don't know. One is already behind the boat. Uh. Mm-hmm. I hit him. Come on. I'm he's almost dead. He's almost dead. One guy left. One guy. 